62% of people in this part of Lincolnshire voted to leave the European Union. The local Tory MP, also a Leave supporter, has resigned over the government trying to sideline Parliament. The result is a Brexit by-election. He's well gone. He's well gone? Yes. Why do you say that? Because Brexit means Brexit. We want out and we want out. They gave us a referendum. If they didn't like the answer, they shouldn't have asked the question. Remain. Wow, because yeah. you're in a minority around yeah. here. The first thing that hits yeah. you here when you mention Brexit is a deep generational divide. What's your sense I of that? I think the older people voted to come out. They want to see this country as it was. Yeah. Is that realistic, do you think? To turn the clock back a bit? Well, all the values have gone, haven't they? All the old values. Well, there doesn't seem to be much pride in the country. I mean, you take last Sunday. There was a huge turnout for Remembrance Sunday in, in this town. but. It was all mainly old people and youngsters that were perhaps in the cadet forces or something like that. I'm surprised you feel as worried as you do, though. I think Look, I'm... there's Nigel Farage, the king of Brexit. He's standing there with the leader of the we free like world. Him, you like Farage? Yeah. Things, are sort of, things have moved in your direction, really. What happened here? Why are all these shops shut down here? Two years ago, that closed down. It used to sell blinds. The bandstand's never used. There's too many pigeons. This is supposed to have a really? new look. But, uh, You're um, still waiting? Yeah. You walk through this precinct most days. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? Well, I, th I think it's rather sad. Most people are shopping online. They go to Grantham or Lincoln for retail shopping. But f for me, an older person, this is fine. How do you feel about Britain leaving you, the Great. EU? You're all right with it? I'm OK, yeah. You, but my granddaughter you... said, <laughs> Granny, you buggered up our generation. We need to have that say now, otherwise it, we can't be run by older people because they're not going to be here. So what? They, they need to keep out. <laughs> Would you have any sense of what politics has to say to young people? Not really, no. I don't. No, really. No. I'll give you an example. Everyone we met who was old yesterday banged on and on about immigration. I don't really see a huge problem. I don't think it bothers any of the younger generation. At the end like of the say, day, is... they're doing a good thing for us because obviously, like, our age group wouldn't want to work in factories. Do you feel strongly English or British? Not particularly, no. How do you feel about the future? I mean, jobs, buying a house, all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, it's getting harder quite scary. It could change a lot or it could stay the same. Change is good though, I think. Yeah, change is always a good thing. Mm. Not always. Not always. I'm not scared of the future. Are you not? No. I am. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> Politics is realigning along the 48-52 referendum divide and the Conservative Party has picked the side it wants to speak for. Brexit means Brexit. The Tory candidate wasn't able to meet us when we visited, but their campaign leaflets give a pretty good sense of the voters they're targeting. It says here, our vision for Britain outside the EU is clear, a fully independent, sovereign country, just like it used to be. Grammar schools, paragraph two, just like they used to be. Rural crime, dignity and security when you retire. You will notice that the lives of young people are becoming progressively more economically insecure and uncertain and all about debt and so on. But the Conservatives say to older people, as pictured here, walking their dog, if you've worked hard during your life, saved, paid your taxes and done the right thing, you deserve dignity and security when you retire. Well, we're in the midst, really, of everything David Cameron didn't want to happen. The Conservative Party is not only banging on about Europe, but it's becoming Conservative again. It's really giving voice to people who want the world, or at least Britain, to be more like it was in the past. Oh, well, I do. I'm from the local Labour Party, out campaigning. Campaigning for the by election? No cold callers. Right, we're out campaigning in somewhat trying circumstances. Certainly, it's very dark, it's quite cold. The system's clearly not working for us, and you can spend so long sitting at the telly and shouting at the news, but at some point, you've got to do something. What do you do for a living? I'm a dustman. Labour Party? Yeah. I think you might have come to the wrong address. Have I come to the wrong address? All right, mate, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. 
that I just wish they'd get on with this blooming Brexit. Well, that I said, is the main thing. I said though. I would vote for Brexit, definitely, but you know, I don't want to do the lose working people to lose all the oh, rights yeah. or something. Yeah, I know that. Undermine yeah. that. Mind you, they don't seem to have an awful lot of rights at the minute, do they? Our grandchildren are really struggling. With... That woman says she wants the Brexit really as soon as possible. Yeah. Why though? What's the hurry? It's quite an abstract thing, isn't it? It's yeah. like saying to shout, having a shout out and saying, you know, we're not being looked after. Things is things has just changed too much for us. Or, or what about us? My son, he's worked in the same job for twenty years, and he's earning less now doing exactly the same job than he was ten years ago, because the foreign companies are coming into this country, and they don't pay time and a half. Yeah. We're British. British people live in villages and these Londoners have no appreciation of how we struggle to carry on. They're taking away all our facilities and they're spending millions on this train that nobody could afford to ride on. HS2? Yeah. What's, what's any of that got to do with the European Union? Well, it's all part of it, isn't it? Is it? This is the new centre of British politics, a bundle of anger and unease which has attached itself to Brexit and is now dragging the Tories and Labour behind it. But it's too simplistic and divisive to dismiss all of this as backward. Because when it comes to fear and disaffection, we're probably all in it together. Very little street life here. All you can really hear is the distant hum of a nearby A road. Excuse me. We work for the Guardian. The news. Ah, you're a Labour canvasser. Yes. Do you know this ward? It's usually Tory. Is it? It's the Tory one. It's this area sucks. Uh, it's a nice area. Not a lot of crime. It's quite quiet. But what sucks about it? There's nothing to do. The kids, like, when my sister brings her kids home, they get a bit bored. The play park's not very big. There's no one really around for them. So I've lived here since I was a kid, really. Um, I never really knew anyone around here, apart from my neighbours. <laughs> They're about the only people I know. As far as I'm concerned, personally, getting older and older, um, it's getting more and more difficult because of cuts, you know, bus services and things like that. Yeah. The vast majority of people in this part of the country, they voted to leave the EU. Yes, yes. I voted to come out um, because I think, it, you know, we, we've stood on our own in the past and I think we can do it. Again. How do you Britain. think the world's changing? <laughs> Not for the best, I don't think. Funnily enough, on the news today, it was about old people feeling lonely. Now, I've got my family here but I still feel lonely because the neighbours, OK, they're nice, but they shut themselves away. I often never see anybody on a Sunday, never see a soul. That's maybe the reason that all these unexpected political things keep happening. Yeah. Because people are, trying to, people are saying, I've had enough. Yes, yes, I think so. Brexit I think so. and Trump yeah, and yeah. all of that. Trump, <clears throat> a global disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're the Guardian. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you go. She reads The Guardian and she voted out. This is difficult, chewy stuff, see? Because the modernity that people are in revolt against by voting for Brexit, it's not just about the stuff that people on the liberal left like, like diversity, cosmopolitanism, social liberalism, tolerance, acceptance. Bound up in that modernity, there's also the absence of traditional community. There's a lot of loneliness, anomie. That's also the stuff that people take against. And if you're on the liberal left and you don't get that, you're in a bad place.